Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord, praise to you. What Jesus said to Martha today could be said of us or to us. Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. If we do a kind of has, you know, ask yourself, what are you worrying about right now? <laughs> You'd be surprised what people will tell you. And sometimes these things keep you awake. Sometimes this is burdening you a lot, like a heavy load on your shoulders. So what are you thinking about now? What is disturbing you? What is your problem now, if we ask you. You may think, I don't have any problem, but deep down you see that, oh yeah, something is disturbing me. Like I say, sometimes some people do not sleep well because of concerns. And so today Jesus is asking you, what is keeping you awake? What is worrying you? What is your problem? Why are you not relaxed? Why are you not happy with God? Why are you not happy with yourself? As a matter of fact, too. So that's the question for us today. To, and not just Martha. Martha was burdened with serving, to serve food to Christ as a visitor. But all of us should ask ourselves today, what is keeping us awake? What are we worried about? What are you concerned about mostly? Well, it's not that people cannot think. Someone says, Father, am I not going to think? Yeah, we can think and plan and make, you know, think about tomorrow, whatever it is, plan yourself, whatever it is. But it's different from weighing yourself down or such things disturbing you from what is most important in your life. That's the point of today's message. Sometimes we even worry about our body, how we look, you know. And it makes you to shy away from the public. It disturbs you from functioning. So whatever disturbs you from functioning well is a problem to you. Whatever thoughts lingers on you and pushes you down, weighs you down, you don't function or, or you don't function well, or you lo lose yourself sometimes, that's the problem. So what is doing that to you? Today, Jesus Christ is telling us, those things may not matter much. If you think well, they may not matter much. Things, certain things are much more important than that. In the Word of God, in, in Matthew chapter 6, we are told that the Bible says, Why worry about food, about the body, about what to wear, about what to eat? 
that God will take care of all those things. He said, look at the birds of the earth. Who takes care of them? Only one thing is important. First, your relationship with God. And your everlasting life. That's what is important. Do we give much thought to our everlasting life, to our relationship with God, than we do to other things? Today's saint has something to tell us about that. St. Francis of Assisi. He, this man was one, one of the most best-known saints in the 13th century. He's a very mo- Whoever doesn't know St. Francis of Assisi, everyone knows him. And everyone likes him. You know, we love him. Even though we don't know him personally, but may mention of his name, we get attached to him somehow. That tells us who he is, how, who he was. He was born in Assisi, Italy, the son of a rich merchant. As a young man, he was very carefree, like, like St. Um, Bishop uh, um, Augustine, St. Augustine. He was a carefree man. He loves life, you know. You know he loves life. He was even engaged in singing and dancing and partying along like a young man that he was. He later joined the military, you know. It was after the military that he came back ill and a changed man. So something must be your point of contact with God. That's the message today. That thing you think is disturbing you could be your point of contact with God. That's it. So bring that thing to God. Bring your worries, bring your problems, bring your sickness, bring your poverty to God. That's what St. Francis did us today. That's what he did. His illness changed him. And he came down from his rich father's mansion or whatever and embraced the life of poverty and the life of humility, the life of nothing concerns me anymore. Nothing matters to me anymore except maybe one thing, my relationship with God and how I use my vocation, my life here to make peace with other people. And that was why one day he surprisingly did something that he never did in his life. He was taking a walk in his father's mansion, estate, and he saw a, a, a leper who was calling him, beckoning him for help. He was about to run away because he has been told that he has no connection with such people. Growing up rich, he has no connection with the poor people. But he's, he wanted to run away. Something said, no, don't run away. Where are you going? He turned around, went to this leper, kissed him, and hugged him. His life changed from that moment. His life changed. He became a totally new human being. Another point of contact was when he was praying in a church in St. Domiano, just like our church, beautiful church, St. Saint, Saint Saint Marie's. He was praying, and, the, and God told him, go and rebuild my church. His mission started there on. People of God, your worries could be turned into something, could be turned into a message, should be turned, could be turned into a vocation, something that disturbs you. You could bring it up to God. This worries me. What am I going to do? Don't kill yourself thinking about it. Bring it up to God. That's what Jesus Christ said. Always choose Jesus to talk to him, discuss with him, bring him your burden, everything. He's going to work things out with you and with us. God bless you all. Regina Jenny, Letare, Alleluia, Qui aque menuis ti portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit sicut dixit,